Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Danny, Don behind the camera. And today we're gonna show you our ultimate overlanding off-grid vehicle right here. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay guys, this is a 2023 F550 Ford EOG Black Edition, right here, EOG. They're out of Colorado, Denver, Colorado. This is one badass truck. Start off with the obvious. This thing has a two inch lift front and rear liquid spring with an eight inch height adjustment through a controller inside the cab so we can raise this thing and lower this thing four inches higher four inches lower it's sitting on 42 inch Goodyear's if you look at the very front of this thing we have a moto hauler that we haul our TW 200 this is Yamaha this thing weighs 276 pounds it's all terrain you can both ride street and pretty much anywhere this thing will go over anything we carry this on the front because we have a receiver. On the front of the truck, you'll see that the, the grill's been blacked out for the black edition. We have a worn 16.5K uh, winch up here in the front. We have a Baja 30 inch light bar. We have the Baja driving lights here and here and it's sitting on 20 inch rims. Just take this sucker in. It has the steps, the amp steps, which is nice so we don't have to climb up in this sucker. Okay, this is sitting on a CM flatbed, this part right here. And if you look at it real close, you'll see that we line x it. And on the top, these are stable camper upper and lower boxes. And as you can tell, they're designed to mold right into the, the front of the CM flatbed. So we had the line x on the top, the insides, or not the insides, but the top, the sides, and the bottoms. And actually, as much as we could get here on the sides here, and the wheel wells are all line -xed. We have the torque lift fast guns. Here we liked the black color. And these were sent to us by torque lift. Thank you torque lift. They have sponsored a few of our videos. We actually like them so you really can't see them in there. Um, so the negative thing that people always a negative. So if I want to open up my boxes, I got to take this gun off. I don't have to take the rear one off, but I have to take this gun off. But I don't have to take the guns off to get to the fuel. So this again is our 2023 host Yukon truck camper. And this part here, we wrapped aligned this here. And we got that idea off of the watching the Jocelyn journey. They did that to theirs. I thought it just looked fabulous because I didn't like how the white part came down here at the back. So we added that and I like it. Um, so when you walk back through here, we have a torque lift hitch back here, super cross hitch. And uh, this thing will tow 40,000 pounds and I think it carries, the gross vehicle weight is 19.5. And with us, I think our weight loaded is like 18.5. So we still got about a thousand pounds that we can mess with. This is the torque lift sidekick that we did a video on that we carry the generator in here. So with this truck in our truck camper setup, we have a thousand eighty amp hours of lithium battery, and we have four ways we can charge that. We have a thousand watts on the roof of solar uh, panels. We have a DC to DC charger. We have, because this is a 550, it comes with what they call Ford Pro Power, and that's basically an onboard generator. 
and it's a 200 uh, watt inverter generator so basically 20 amps um, that you can charge uh, off off anything off of that too so we could actually plug the truck camper into that to charge our batteries and we also have the generator here to charge it off of so solar the DC to DC the pro power and the inverter generator here we very rarely use this but if we're and stuck somewhere where it's rained for three or four days, you know, you're not getting any solar in because you're not moving, you're not driving, etc. So we will use this. And um, that's basically all we really use it for. Our solar runs everything. We can run our, our air conditioner, our microwave, everything, everything we can run off of it. Starlink, we have all that. Okay, you want to show you something that we did. You see this orange line? And you'll see that orange tag right here. If we line that up with this orange line, then we're center when we go to load this truck camper. It was just easier for us to do it. See that right there? That's a one inch horse stall pad that we got from Tractor Supply that I cut to fit the exact dimensions of our flatbed. So the truck camper sits on that and it gives it a little bit more cushion and keeps it from moving around. So one thing that we just recently did, a lot of people that are using Starlink and they're using Starlink Roam for their package know that they can actually use it in motion now. So if you look up here, you'll see our Starlink. And what I did is I made our own mount. I didn't want a mount that was on top of the roof of our camper because we already sit at 13 feet, five inches. I didn't want another foot. We'd be hitting all kinds of overpasses. So that's actually the Starlink wall mount. And I used it with U-bolts. I don't know if Donna can zoom in there or not, but I used U-bolts to bolt it to the ladder and I used plastic tubing to protect the ladder from the U-bolts. And you'll see a big giant uh, clamp on there with the tubing around it to protect it so it keeps it from going this way. And at the very top, the reason why I've decided to buy that is because this Starlink will mount into the pole, but it, has, it came with that big clamp on there. And that mounts that tightens up the two together and that's we've had no problems with it this is for our flagpole buddy that we originally were using our starlink for and i might just use that for a flag now <laughs> i've decided but we still have the capability of putting the starlink on top of that too um, i didn't want it permanent so i can take that down it take me like maybe five minutes to take it down because if we're parked under trees i have i still have the original uh, stand for Starlink and we have 150 feet of cord that I can stretch that sucker down to get clear open sky So that's why I didn't really want it permanently mounted, but for in motion because Donna found out that roaming is now in motion and We're going to Alaska and Canada. She said to make it happen So I had to give her some way to be able to use Starlink on the road. So that's that was our idea um so this truck has what they call liquid springs and liquid springs is where they take they basically take out all the suspension the original suspension out of the ford and they put in a hydraulic suspension it's really neat and you talk about a comfortable ride there's no there's no comparison on our way through here i was just like man just how bumpy this road is you just didn't really feel it so we actually really really like it it also has what they call campsite leveling which is a one touch earth leveling uh, when you're on, on the interface on the truck you just hit auto level and it actually levels the suspension of the truck uh, to what they call campsite leveling it's pretty cool and if you look at all of our bubbles that we had from before we used to put blocks underneath the truck you'll see that all of them are exact perfect uh, with leveling so this thing has a 6.7 v8 turbo diesel with the 10 speed transmission. This is actually our second Ford pickup. We had a 450 with this on there before and we were always, let's just be honest, we were always overweight. So with this thing here, we've had plenty of room to grow and that's exactly what we've done. The drive, the workmanship from EOG, the customer service from EOG, you're part of the family. You really, really, really need to take a look at it. These are one bad truck. This is what our rig is. We love it. We go all over the place with it. We plan on going on a 10 month uh, uh, Midwest to 
Canada, and the Northwest Territories, the Yukon, Arctic Ocean, Alaska, and then back down to the West Coast. And uh, we're going to uh, start off in uh, courtside at the truck rally in February. So if you're going, it's just a comment so, I can, so we can make sure that we can try to meet up. But we'll be there at the, at the rally this year. And uh, we're going to give you the inside tour now. Okay, welcome inside our 2023 host Yukon. We're gonna kind of show you the bells and whistles that we've done with this thing. So the very first thing that we did is we took out the old recliner set and we put in a Rec Pro St. Charles. And this thing is just absolutely like sitting at home. It's really nice. And this does recline, it's a wall hugger and we have it hooked up so it all run off our inverter or off of our DC battery. Another thing that we did is we're getting ready to go to Alaska this next spring and in order to fight the, the sun that's always out basically, it never sets, we blacked out everything inside the RV and we went through a couple of different experiments. So we bought these things and they came with Velcro and you put the Velcro on here and then after, a, I don't know, a week or so, it would just start melting off and coming off. So I, I had an epiphany and what we did is I bought curtain magnets and put them on here and they basically magnetized to where the screws are at. So these will come off and go back on just, just like that and they don't come off. And we put them on every single window except for our sink window where, where we cook at. Um, so, but every one of these is blacked out, even the, the, the door here and our very back. And we, these things here are also magnetized this is another good upgrade that we did for both the bathroom and in here so they super easy and if you don't want them on there they fold up all of these fold up and go into little sleeves and you just put them in the, in the cabinet and you're done another modification that we did is this is a coat closet and this thing is so narrow you could put maybe one or two coats in there so we took it out and I put shelving in there so it's basically another pantry For water purification, we have an Acuva water purifier that purifies it through ultraviolet light. So we don't have to carry bottled water or anything like that. It comes with a 65 gallon freshwater tank, a 51 gallon gray water tank, and a 32 gallon black water tank that we converted into a gray water tank because we took out our toilet and put an OGO composting toilet in here. So we have roughly 80, three gallons of gray water and 65 gallons plus the 15 gallons in the truck. So we have 80 gallons of fresh water and we purify all of our drinking and cooking water through the Akiva. So we have all the creatures and comforts of home. We have TV, we added a sound bar, the fireplace, and everybody that has a truck camper will know that you gotta make use of the space that you have. So you'll find these throughout the camper that we put in here that hold stuff. We have them here, we have them over here. We keep our vegetables, fruit, stuff like that here. Hang our hiking uh, bags here. And another thing that we added on here is, this is where our Starlink is run. And we'll go another video of how we did that. But we have the capability of running our Starlink basically off the, the power inverter for 110 volt, or we can run it off of uh, 12 volt DC. Depends on what we want to do. Um, but we have both capabilities, so that's why both routers are in here. Well, I also installed fans throughout the RV to kind of help circulate the air. So we added fans up here, and these things are really nice. I also put them back here above this recliner set, so you have fans here too. And of course, you have all your knickknack stuff that you can hang up. We carry our vacuum cleaner here, and we fold up our dog bed here. Those fans are 12 volt, right? Yes, they are 12 volt. And pretty much we try to get everything to run off the batteries as much as possible. Okay, so over in here is the kitchen. We made the mistake like everybody does every once in a while. When you hit some big bumpy roads and we we're an off-grid vehicle, we hit some, we go down some challenging roads sometimes, our refrigerator popped open. I said, we're never gonna have that happen again. 
So I bought these child locks, I think off of Amazon, and they just pop on and pop off, and it keeps the doors from opening up. Just an added safety feature that we, we did on here. So and we also have a refrigerator thermostat so we can see what the temperature is inside our freezer and in our refrigerator. And this is strictly 12 volt. And we absolutely, I'm a knock on wood, but we've never had any problems with it and we love it. Another thing that we added on here was another thermostat that tells us our in time, inside temperature, our temperature on our freshwater tank, our temperature outside, and our temperature inside our battery bank. So I can always know at a glance if anything needs to be addressed. This is one of the safety things. I know it looks kind of crazy hanging up here, but this is a fire blanket. If you ever had a fire in here, it's going to happen right here where you're cooking. And the, base, the way you do this, you pull this down, you turn around, and if there's a fire, you throw it over top of the fire and it smothers the fire. So I highly recommend that you get one of these. I got it off of Amazon and absolutely, you know, never had to use it, thank God, but it's there. And I know it kind of looks out of place, but safety first. This is another good investment that we did is the Mojica uh, uh, propane tank sensors. It's also Bluetooth and it's also uh, controlled by buttons on there uh, so you can see what the temperature is on the tank. This is part of our solar. We have a thousand eighty amp hours of solar uh, lithium batteries and we have a, a thousand watts up on the roof. If you can't tell the air conditioner is running right now and we're not hooked up. It's running strictly off the batteries. So other than that it's pretty much standard kitchen. We've modified some of the cabinets and everything. This came with a smaller cutting board and we added this one on here and we also added this on here with another leg so this can move to either side. Also another upgrade we did highly highly recommend it. You get rid of that old analog thermostat and you put this sucker in and you can actually see what the temperature is in here with that too. So this is for our air conditioner and this is for the, 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 the furnace. That was one of the best things, easiest things and best things I thought we did because the other one had the old analog switch that you moved back and forth. You really could never, I think it's set at 72, but you're not really sure. This, perfect. The, throughout the camper, like I said, we always utilize space. So we have these for, for shoe storage. Up here is another knickknack thing, holder uh, that Donna likes to put her stuff in. And again, just more of our curtains. Super easy. Now we're in the bathroom. So this shuts to give you a little bit of privacy. And this is the shower. I'm 6'1", I'm 225 pounds, and I got plenty of room, okay? Absolutely love it. This has the sliding curtain on here. Absolutely love it. When we're boondocking, if you haven't heard of this company, and this by no means are we sponsored by them, but you need to look that up, Geyser. So what you do is you take your shower nozzle off, you put this on, and this drips out the water basically. Instead of using 1.5 gallons of water per minute on this thing, this is a half a gallon per minute. So for boondocking and you want to still take a shower, but you're using a sponge basically and you're saving a lot of water. So it's a neat little thing I think you should check out. Donna put these in here. I think she got them off of walmart.com and uh, they're 3M taped in there and they hold everything. None of this stuff moves, it travels with us. Got the razor holders up here, got the mirror for if I wanna shave in the shower. Um, up here is another one of our vent covers and we did a YouTube video on changing out that little teeny fan with this, the bigger fan. And I tell you what, if I said there was night and day, I'd lie to you. It's like, there's no comparison. There really isn't. And it was a very inexpensive fix. So if you're in here getting a shower, let's say you're hooked up to full hookup, full hookups and you got all the water you want and you steam the heck out of this place because that little fan won't get the air out. You put that sucker on there, you will not have any fog up, no steam in here at all. No steam, no condensation, no mildew. Again, this goes right up there like that, done. Get rid of those foam things. You know, they suck. They look horrible. They take up too much room when you don't use them. These things fold up and boom, like that. If you look over here, this is another one. So you get so much light in here from this. And this is for a van, van uh, window. And it was almost the exact same size. 
and I put the magnets up here like that and that just closes that up knocks out the knocks out the, the, the sun the light when we close this thing up at night when we go to bed it's dark in here okay this is one of the there's it's controversy people like it and people don't we got rid of our toilet and put an ovo composting toilet in here and I'm gonna tell you why when we were on the road last year and we were on the road for like eight months and we were all out west, up in the mountains and everything. The hardest two things for us to find was potable water and a place to dump your black tank. To the point where it just got obnoxious. So when we got back to North Georgia and we were able to get one of these sent to us, we put this in. We put this in over a year ago. And there's, there's other YouTubers now on, and host campers that are doing the same thing. And you will find that, you know, this is not as bad as you think. It's really not, and we absolutely love it. No black tank, no black tank at all. No more dumping a black tank. All we got to worry about is gray water. That's period. That's all we got to worry about. So we love it. So I would highly recommend that you take a look at that. Another one of the things that we did in here, it's not going to work right now, but we put motion detector lights in here. So if you're in the middle of the night and you have to use the bathroom, instead of flumbling from the lights, these things automatically come on, which which is nice for us because. The dog sleeps where Miss Donna is right now filming this. So when she jumps down, the light comes on and she can be able to go and get her water or her food or whatever. And again, you'll see more of these things floating around. And everywhere there's hooks to hang stuff, everywhere. And another thing I didn't point out that Miss Donna did is she put these little clips up here above the slide out. And this is where we hang up our hats. You can hang up your jackets, your hats, whatever. But that's that's what she did. So those clips stay there pretty much all the time. Okay, people are always asking, what do you have underneath your bed for your mattress to keep the moisture out? This is a FOIA system. We've absolutely had zero issues, zero issues with mildew, condensation, anything like that underneath the mattress. This thing's awesome. And it actually makes, this is the standard mattress that comes with the host, and we actually kind of like it. So and this is actually acts like a box spring. So I recommend checking out. They're expensive, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so this is the wardrobes that it comes with. Mixed feelings about that. So with mixed feelings, we decided to do something. So we knocked out the insert that was here and the insert that was here. And we made shelves. So there's shelves all the way down. And these are adjustable. So the way we pack our stuff is we put everything in what they call cubes. So if you put everything in cubes, all your socks in one cube, all your underwear in one cube, all your t-shirts, etc., 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 and you can label the cube, you can actually have those standing up and you can see what they are. And it makes organization so much easier and you can get a lot of stuff in here. Donna put motion detecting lights on here. So as soon as you open up the door, those lights came on so she can see what's inside. We did this on both sides. Highly recommend you take a, uh, take a look at doing that. One of the very first things that we did when, I, when we bought this camper is we liked to boondock. And I, I, I like having the windows open if it's nice out, but I still have to have some air move around. We bought these fans. These are 12 volt. Every fan that you see in here will be 12 volt. And we have one on each side of the bed. And because I like the fan noise, and most guys will agree with that, is I added more fans up here too. So we have another set of these, and they're adjustable, so you can move them any which way you want. And they're running off the battery. And this thing actually gets really comfortable <laughs> uh, with a lot of, it, it moves a lot of air in here. Um, so we love them. We absolutely love them. Um, it helps me sleep. Hey, remember what I was telling you about with more storage? Look what we did there. So everywhere you'll see those things. The, on this side, you'll see that we ran some wires to run these, and this is where we charge our phones. So we have Apple phones, so these are called magnetic mounts. They just go right there, or my Apple watch goes right there. Boom, done. Again, 12 volt. So you don't have to have any kind of power or any inverter running to do that. Um, another thing that we did is, again, more blackout curtains, again, magnetized we also have put foam up here to help 
uh, keep some of the heat out because this is a big heat source, man. And uh, it actually works out really, really well. So you can actually see it'll come down. And again, if you don't want it, if it's nice out, you can store these, it's no big deal. And they just go up by magnets, as simple as that. And these are two that we put together. They're two window size um, ones. If you want to know the sizes or anything like that that would help you, put it down in the comments and I'll try to hook you up with what, what we bought. And it seems to be working, it never falls down. What's nice about these, and we did it, these on these windows also, so guess what? So you have the Velcro down here at the bottom and, the, and here, and if you want to open up the window, you can open up the window and still only half of, have half of this showing. So that was that was a really nice feature, I thought, when we, when we made these. So, and again, they just go straight up. And they're just, so this part here is a little bit longer than the regular window, so that's why the Velcro down here, and the Velcro stayed pretty good on the wood. It just wouldn't stay on the metal. We changed out the TV here, and we put a bigger TV in. Let me move. And we put that came with a really small TV, and we like to watch TV in bed. Me, the dog, and the wife, and uh, so we put the bigger TV in, and we like it. It's a Amazon TV, if I remember correctly. And the dog, she likes to sleep with us, but sometimes we don't like to sleep. So we bought this off of Amazon, and this is exact fit for right here on the side for her to lay down so she'll lay down right there where she still feels like she's in bed with us and that gives her access to get up and down so one of the biggest benefits with a host truck camper because I've had lances and if you can see where my leg is with the lance most lances you're climbing up into the bed this thing right here we have a 20 pound cockapoo and she jumps up and down here freely. You don't have to climb up in here. It's easy to get up and in, up and down in this bed. That was one of the biggest reasons that I went with host. Okay, this is kind of like a, an RV hack, but instead of using those big, uh, thick bath towels, get these pneumatic towels. They, they, you can get, these are a little pricey. We liked them because they had, uh, this one's got, uh, what does it have on there? Has, uh, Rocky Mountain National Park, and I think this one is Yellowstone. And um, Brand nomadics. nomadics, yeah, and they dry really fast. So with a wet towel, you got to remember moisture and mildew in such a small area are your enemy. So if you get something like this that can dry faster, less mo uh, mildew and mo uh, moisture, and you can also get them on Amazon or micro towels, and uh, we use these too. Um, it's basically the same thing. This is comes as a set. I think it has a big bath towel, has a smaller towel, and I think a washcloth. And uh, you can check that out. We've had to, we've been using those for years. So this goes back to my military days. Squeegee. When you get done taking a shower, you squeegee your shower. That does two things for you. That cleans your shower, and it keeps the moisture and mildew out because there's no water leaking in there. So go buy you a little shower, put you a little 3M hook up in there to hang it and, and, and take care of that every time you shower, you'll, you'll, you'll thank me. This is, a lot of people want to know, how's the privacy? Well, this is a sliding door here. And on this side of the door is a full length mirror for you women or you guys. And that for travel goes like that. So we'd like to welcome you guys and tell you thank you for coming in. If you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and notification button. It really helps us out. But this is how we travel, and I think we travel pretty well.